Good morning, YouTube. What's going on? It's Mesa back at it with some Destiny 2. All right, time for another exotic review. This time, it's the Ward Cliff Coil. And I think everyone's just missing the point on this thing. We're going to review it in this video. So this apparently was the rocket launcher that was supposed to be in the Taken King, right? Everyone was naming it the Dubious Volley. Whether that was the official name or not, we don't know. Supposedly, it was supposed to be in the Taken King. Got cut. Well, it's in Destiny 2. Now, RNG was just wonderful for me today on this Tuesday reset. I got myself a 298 attack Wardcliffe coil. Also got myself a 290. No, is it 299? Yeah, 299 uh, Skyburner's Oath. I'm going to review that next, probably tomorrow after the raid comes out. But, um, yeah, guys, this thing, all right, you know what, before, hold on, before I get into my opinion, because I think I'm going to get flamed at the end for this one, uh, let's go into the perks real quick. So, here she is, right, and it says, Ingenuity, a desperation, a haphazard prototype of terrible power. Such were the factors at play in the Wardcliffe Incident. I don't know what they're talking about, Wardcliffe Incident. Hopefully, there's some lore behind it. We're going to read the lore. So, the two main perks, Mad Scientist, shoots a long volley of rockets. Second perk is going to be this weapon automatically reloads upon ammo pickup. Now, you actually have to have it out when you run over the power. I was just about to say heavy. When you run over the power brick, if the, uh, I was about to say dubious volley too. God, I'm all over the place in this video. The Wardcliffe coil is, um, if you have it stowed and uh, you go to pick up ammo, you're going to have to reload it, right? So you just got to make sure that the Wardcliffe coil is out, run over it, and it will automatically reload. And you can see I got lucky from a bright engram. I got the Tesla's Revenge weapon ornament. So... The other perks are extended mag, and then you also have composite stock, which is increases stability and slightly increases handling speed. But the weird thing about this, it's a rocket launch. You actually have to control the recoil. So we're going to go over some clips here. So here's me actually just trying to take out that ship. We, we end up turning it into heroic here. But you can see when I fire it, I'm aiming at it. And how many hit? Uh, like one or two? No, actually a couple hit. Now that it's up close, all right, you see it just it kicks straight up in the air. Some of the rockets hit. So it seems like in this volley of rockets, some of them do track, some of them don't. You gotta be close to your target. This is not something like Gallahorn that we're so used to from Destiny 1, where you uh, load up on rockets, you fire it off, and eh, year one, it was such a crutch, right? People, stop comparing this thing to Gallahorn or thinking that when you get this thing, that this is the new Gallahorn. It's not. Here's what everyone's missing on this thing, right? Look, this is Destiny 2. This is not Destiny 1, right? Listen, um, let me ask you this question. How bored did you get in Destiny 1 when you felt the pressure, whether it was PvE or PvP, PvE or PvP, to use the same loadout every single strike, every single raid? Huh? Got pretty boring rather quickly, right? And what I'm loving about Destiny 2 is that I am constantly in P my voice cracked because I'm still sick. In PvE, I'm constantly mix matching stuff, right? I don't always have to have the best thing for every single strike. Um, even for the Nightfall, you know, we all were mixing it up, right? I love my Linear Fusion Rifle. Am I going to use it nonstop because I think it's one of the best weapons in the game? No, I like playing around with different things. And the fun fact is what everyone's missing in this thing. Guys, not every single exotic has to be the best thing in the world. And everyone going into this thing expecting that the Wardcliffe call is going to be the next Galloran, go use it. It's fun. It looks cool. It sounds cool. It does a lot of damage. It's mostly fun when there's a whole bunch of ads, especially yellow bars. You take them out, and you just run over the ammo, if you have it out, of course, and it will reload, and you're just getting rockets galore over and over, and you're watching them shoot all over the place and ricochet off things. Some track, some don't. If you're too close, you end up getting killed. It's a fun factor. This gun is fun. Not every gun has to be the best thing that you use. But this thing is arc, right? It's great for taking out mobs of ads. Um, if you're up close to like a high value target or a, a big old yellow bar, yeah, it'll, it might take him like to very, very, very low health, right? It's not going to kill him in just one blast, which, which is fine. You know what? They, I, in my opinion, I think Luke Smith, Mark Noseworthy, the team at Bungie, they're trying to move away from crutches, right? I mean, we all had crutches, but who knows when the raid drops, maybe there might be a section of the raid where there's just a pit of yellow bars. We all pull out our Ward Cliff coils and just start laying into them. And we got bricks. We got heavy bricks. Oh, I said heavy again. Power bricks. We got power bricks everywhere. And we're having fun. That is, guys, this gun is fun. Now, when they changed the whole weapon system from D1 to D2 and going kinetic, energy, and power, you know, I had my concerns too. But the more that I play this game, the more I'm having fun with it. You know, I kind of look at all these exotics and legendaries and things. They're all toys, right? It's like if I'm going into a strike, uh, I don't feel the pressure that I'm going to go in with Gallahorn. I'm going to go in with my high impact sniper. Going to go in with a scout rifle. Scout, man, I, I don't even use. Well, all right. I do use one scout rifle a lot. 
But for the most part, I'm using auto rifles. I love the fact that auto rifles are so good in Destiny 2 when it comes to PvE or PvP. I'm surprised I'm liking them so much in PvE. They're very, very effective. And I mean, there's so many different types of auto rifles. I like mixing and matching. Sometimes I like pulse rifles. Sometimes I play around with hand cannons. But I don't feel like I have the crutch, right? I gotta use a scout rifle, gotta use a sniper, gotta use Gallahorn or whatever heavy machine gun. But before I finish here, let's read the lore. So we uh, we started with the first part before. Ingenuity, desperation, a haphazard prototype of terrible power. Such were the factors at play in the Wardcliff incident. Hopefully we'll learn about that. Then we go into what's called Hammett's Log. The lead is good, but so are the fallen tracking me. I swear on my ghost, there's a hundred camped outside. I'm cornered in the lab and they're using shanks to run me out of ammunition. War cultist, arm thyself. At least it's a weapons lab. This er, rustic device was once an experimental axion emitter, which sprays weird particles to light up the basement of the universe. Right here, I've coupled the emitter to some catacaustic quark gluon coils, which will not, due to my scrupulous safety checking, create a strange let that devours the earth. I cook up some pain in there, these microverse decays, and the result comes out here. If it doesn't work, well, please name the crater after me. So that's the lore behind the Ward Clip Coil. Anyway, guys, hashtag made it to the end. Babble mode's been engaged, making too many videos. Raid's coming out, I gotta get some sleep, and I am still sick as a dog. This cough doesn't go away, I am going to the doctor. I just got myself some Robitussin, uh, Robitussin, DM. My girlfriend's a nurse. She's like, you got to get that stuff. You are congested. You have a dry cough. Go see a doctor if it doesn't clear up in a day. Baba Mode's engaged, guys. Thanks for staying to the end. Do me a favor. Drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Uh, oh, and I'll be streaming later on today at 1 p.m. when the raid comes out. All right, let's try that ending again. Drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter at MesaShawn. Check out my stream. Usually it always on YouTube, and that's it. I am out of here like Vladimir.